Hello again viewers, another day, another marina. <laughs> Somebody always says it's not really a bad marina, is it? It's probably not. Um, and it's nice down here as well. Let's take a wee walk. We're going to walk right to the end. I'm going to show you the bars and restaurants. Um, Dunkin' Donuts, not seen that for a while. So we're in Malaga, Costa del Sol. You can walk up there as well. I've not been down that end. The beach is behind me, um, maybe a five minute walk. To get here, it's possibly a 10 to 15 minute walk from the centre of Malaga. I don't know if there's a quicker way, but I went through a tunnel to get here. I was going to take a video showing you how to get here, but I've had some issues. That's all I can say, really, viewers. So, it's a nice wee promenade walk along here. Don't think there's too much else up here. I'm going to show you the bars and restaurants here. You can let me know what you think. How do you compare it to the other marinas I've been at recently? And I've got quite a lot. Let's take a wander down. There's a wee market stall going on here. We've got the Hard Rock Cafe and some other things as well. You can hear that guy's giving it welly. <laughs> you can hear the background. So, a couple of wee stalls here. I've been here before, but I've just seen if anything's really changed. Possibly a few more places here than the last time. Don't remember as many places up this top end. We're going to go down the bottom. There's a wee rooftop bar up there as well. It's a nice place to sit out and look, isn't it? Um, visually, this bit here. It's not as nice as the wee marina I was in in Gibraltar when I was sitting in the lounge bar and you literally could touch a boat. I mean, I could have had a pint and put my foot in the boat. So, it's not as nice visually as that, I wouldn't say, but it's still pretty nice. It's more of a working dock. You can see a lot of things going on up there as well. See, it's a working dock, a tractor goes by. Here's my point. Um, so, pretty nice, all these things. So, they've got a wee mix here of shops, bars and restaurants. We've got some fast food ones like Burger King and KFC and we've also got the Hard Rock Cafe over here as well. That's the wee market stall I was telling you about. Um, sell a variety of items. I think you can get, you can get the general dress. I won't, I won't go right in. There's a few places here but that's cool. And a lot of wee badges and stuff. Survival bracelets. Well, I've just about survived this trip. Just about yours. Nice place to sit eh? Have a wee drink. 10 euros for dresses. So again, pretty affordable. A lot of jewellery stalls here. There's one for me, a hat stall. Nice, eh? Absolute sun trap, but I tell you, it's over 30 degrees. It is scorching here. It's getting filmed on the 1st of July. I don't know when it got uploaded, who knows. Um, we signs here. Some of you fans here, I can maybe buy one right now. <laughs> so I came from up there basically. Um, maybe a 10 minute walk, I, don't know, I was walking really fast because I'm in a major hurry. There's a Hard Rock Cafe, it's quite a big one. Got a shop in there, Rock Shop as well. Up the top, they've got a rooftop bar. Let's walk down and see what they've got. KFC Burger King. We've got another wee stall up here. This is where I actually came down from. Up the top here. It's quite a nice wee bar. Comfortable seating. Some people sitting up there. I'm trying to see the name of it. I think it might be Noosa. Possibly Noosa. Like a lot of trip stop off here possibly. So it is nice down here. Malaga city centre is beautiful, one of my favourite places. Um, it's not as nice as some of the other marinas I've been in, but at the same point, it's not 10 euros a pint, so let's consider that as well. <laughs> well, I'll be everywhere, aren't they? Everywhere. General makeup, perfume, all that kind of stuff, selling there. What's going on down here, viewers? What is going on down here? 
is nice. Need to get in the shade, viewers. Urgently, I need to get in the shade. It's unbelievable the heat. Make up Milano, Kiko. Some sort of event going on here, I think. Malaga racing team. Now, I can see smoke as if a barbecue's on here. Let's see what's going on, viewers. Restaurant there. Well, they're unveiling a little car. How exciting. Right, here we go, viewers. I've came at a perfect time for you. Drum roll. Get excited. What's happening now? It's the Malaga racing team. Oh, no, they're, they're coming up again, we just want an anti climax, eh? Anyway, I'll let you know what it's like. <laughs> Have a see it. Hello? Do you want me to explain what's that? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you recording? Yes. Uh, do you want to, to, to record me? Uh, yeah, you can tell me what that is. Okay. It's a racing car. Are, yeah, yeah. We are, you know, Formula Uno, Formula One. Okay. We are the Formula One from students. Okay. We are, we are the University of Malaga. University of Malaga. And we are, we are, all, we are all students. Yes. And we made this car, this mo, uh, monoplaza. I don't know how to. You explain. made the car in university. Yes. Okay. Uh, from zero. To fully, so and now it's the now it's there. presentation. C can I see it? No, are you, are you, are you need not to wait. Yet, not yet. Not yet. Not okay. Yet. When are you doing the presentation? Uh, seven. At seven. One okay. Hour, one hour left. Okay. We are no going problem. to be here. Okay. In the okay. Town hall. Okay, viewers. If you hear at seven o'clock, head here and you'll see the unveiling of the car. How much does it cost you to make it? Uh, more or less eighty. Eighty thousand. Wow. Eighty thousand euros car there under the covers, viewers. I can't show you, unfortunately. Um, but if I'm back here at 7, I'll show you. Thanks for the information. We are going to compete to Assen. You know Assen? Yeah. In, 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 in Netherlands. Yeah. And then in, in Montmelo, Catalonia. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. See you. A nice guy. Thanks for the information about the car. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first seen that car, I thought it was like a toy car. I, I didn't take it seriously. 80,000 euro car. 80,000? I wish we could have seen it. I did ask him, can I see it? But obviously, we have to respect the grand unveiling at 7 o'clock. This at 6 o'clock, I think, just now. So I can't hang about here for an hour, too busy. Um, what a shame. There's a Segway guy. Boss in there as well. So there's quite a lot of places in here. Again, they need to get under shade. So you can see there's a few boats here. But it's not the same as Porto Bonus or even Gibraltar, but all the boats are right next to you, and that gives you a real feel. I mean, down at the marina when you get the boats right next to you. Even the one in um, where was I? I forgot actually what the other marina I was in. The one I got the two euro pint. Is that Portugal? Albufeira. <laughs> even that as well. That was quite nice. That place. Um, is that cow again? I've not seen that cow. Everywhere I go, there's an alley hop. Everywhere. Must do well, these shops, eh? There's more restaurants up here, I remember from the last time. There's another rooftop bar up there. I think these places are maybe busy at night. A sports shop there. There's a big boat here, but wait for it, viewers, wait till I show you. On the right hand side, it's a cracker. So if you like boats, I'm glad you've watched till nearly the end. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Because you'll probably like this one. Good burger, I've seen that um, in the town centre as well, city centre. It's also a franchise or chain place. I'm heading for my dinner soon to the One Euro Tapas restaurant. I'll we'll leave a link at the end to it if you're interested in knowing where it is in Malaga if you come here. If you come to Malaga, you have to have tapas. There's a, there's a million restaurants that do tapas. 
Here's the boat. Here's, here's the boat. Some sort of restaurant here. I don't know if you can see it. Spraying water or something. Brilliant. Oh, Mexican and Indian here. How can you combine the two in a restaurant? I don't know that. A Mexican and Indian. Now, we're going to need a bigger boat with apply to this one. Check this beauty out. Oh. Nice, eh? It's an absolute belter. Um, we've got Greek tavern here. Steakhouse and tapas. These restaurants were all here last time, so I can remember some of them. Let me know in the comments, can any, does anybody know any new ones that have opened here, have replaced other ones maybe? Casa Carmen, if you come down this area you probably know all these, these places. I remember from the last time they were pretty um, affordable. 35 euros per person, 3 course menu. I think we've got a tasting menu, 5 course menu actually. Tasting menu, they're good aren't they? So get a wee bit more on tap as, but it's still a tasting menu. Look, the boat's got a boat on it. A wee dinghy. A cracker. I wonder, I wonder what's the deal with this boat. Nothing else is parked here apart from this big boat. There's a wee one next to it actually. It's probably the same person that owns them. Cambara, it's quite busy. Quite a lot of people in there. Nice atmosphere again. That's a wee tapas place. Seen it in a few places. Oh, check it out. Check it out, Euro. One Euro. Bargain, eh? And this one just at the end is nice and cool inside. Looks like an even more like a Greek place as well. What do you think, yours? Three Euros fifty. Oh, I nearly knocked the phone up my hand there. <laughs> That's stupid, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Remember, if you're new to the channel, it's absolutely free, does not cost a penny. All you have to do is click that wee red button there that says subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny. Thanks for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm just about to get a wee ride in the boat and then go and see the car. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.